Hello everyone, this is Nilima from Puna Zero Waste and in this tiny series that we have started on bioenzymes, I bring here today episode number 2. And in this episode, we are going to talk about containers. As important are the ingredients to make the right kind of bioenzyme, the containers that are supposed to be used in make this entire process are very, very important. Now, first of all, we have to remember that we need not buy any kinds of new uh, or fancy containers uh, from market to make a bioenzyme. It is important that we use all the existing containers in our house, whichever is available. And out of those that are generally available in the households in uh, uh, in uh, in India, I would like to talk about three kinds of uh, uh, main kinds of uh, material of containers. So um, people prefer bottles than any other container for making uh, bioenzymes. For me, I prefer plastic and why I'll let you know. It is very safe and very uh, easy to make bioenzyme in plastic containers. Why I will tell you again. But generally what I mean to say is we find either plastic bottles or glass bottles or metal bottles in our homes. Now why should we prefer plastic uh, you know compared to um, against the glass bottles or the metal bottles. Now these are generally the glass bottles that we find in the house and glass being very good for storing a food very very useful what I mean to say. But for bioenzyme, it really doesn't work because in the process of bioenzyme, what we are doing is using any green waste. Generally speaking, we use citrus peels or flower waste or uh, even some in, some people use neem leaves. So these the whole process is about fermenting that main ingredient of which the bioenzyme will be made. Now in the whole process of fermentation, generally speaking, there is always a uh, an, an activity of gas buildup and glass is not great as far as handling the pressure uh, related to the gas buildup is concerned and therefore we avoid completely glass bottles because the when the pressure will build up due to gas uh, generation every single day the there are all the chances that the glass container will blast if the gas is not released in time. Now let's talk about the metal containers. These kinds of metal bottles are easily available in our homes everywhere but the biggest problem with metal uh, involved in bioenzyme making is that generally metal will rust and therefore we have to avoid this whole process of rusting of any kind of uh, metal rusted during the whole process because then it starts oxidation starts and it starts releasing wrong kinds of um, chemicals and therefore we always prefer plastic bottles now plastic bottles there are or containers for that matter if somebody is using a large size of container to make a larger quantity of bioenzyme is drums or something i have seen people making bioenzymes in drums also the the reused drums but for plastic bottles also it is preferred that we use smaller mouth narrow mouth bottles and for me my favorite are these pet bottles because um not just because the whoever uses it mostly throws them away but these pet bottles are a lot uh, larger use than just uh, once when you consume the contents of those cold drinks uh, from them from inside now people also prefer using these kinds of detergent and you know these kinds of uh, containers that they would Whenever they would have bought these are like two years ago. This is given by my friend. This I bought some two and a half years ago and it is still working great for making bioenzyme for me. I have of course stopped using all these chemically loaded uh, materials. Anyways, so but we I this these are kinds of the two little pet bottles that I borrow from my friends uh, for me to make the bioenzyme. Now let's see uh, small or big. Once again, let me tell you, I use both these kinds. This is a smaller one. This is a bigger one. What I do is tear off this uh, label and we don't throw them away. No, nothing goes into the dustbin as far as possible from our 
house and therefore whenever we pull off these labels we put them in this eco brick which is very very important for us to save all these kinds of non-recyclable multi-layered plastic to going to straight away to the landfill and exist there for ages to come so um, these are the bottles i use i peel off the labels and put them in the eco brick wash them correctly and this is what I made day before yesterday to show you. I also showed you in the episode one. Now comes the fun part. This is my daily routine and everybody loves doing in this house when they have to release the gas. And when I release the gas, you will see why it is important for us to use these kinds of reusable pet bottles. Now, as you can see, the bottom of these bottles has five... <clears throat> protruding shape and this actually gives them a right kind of base which holds on to the pressure that is built up in the bottle if you try i always how do you check how the gas build up is happened or not so when i'm pressing this bottle it is resisting against any pressure created from my hands and therefore it means it's as tight as rock which means there is enough gas build up and before uh, it, any other further things happen, it is very much necessary that I release the gas. And only a pet bottle with such a sturdy base will be able to handle this pressure. This is already existing in this bottle. Always be very careful, very, very careful while releasing the gas. And you can, hopefully you can listen to what the gas release sounds like. And that's why it is important that we use only plastic bottles. Can you see that? And you will also see the bubbles forming. Do you see the bubbles forming? This is why there was enough pressure and there is, was too much of carbon dioxide build up. And only a pet bottle can handle this much of gas release. These bubbles are the proof that gas was built up and it is being released. And that the process of bioenzyme is going in the right direction. Therefore, always choose plastic containers existing plastic containers in your household or if you really don't have enough number of or right kind of plastic containers there is no harm in borrowing from your friends and uh, neighbors and but <clears throat> to make sure that you use these kinds of containers for making bioenzymes next episode we will talk about how to take care of the bottle every single day what should be the daily routine and what are the do's and don'ts for making the right kind of bioenzyme bye bye